what's up guys this is your girl growth with liz welcome to my channel i know it's been a while i had a lot of time to reflect and now i'm wearing all white to show my rejuvenation i am here to talk about gratitude what it is why it's important what are the benefits and how you can practice that on a daily basis to enhance your life every single day so stay tuned <laughs> So what is gratitude? Just to simplify it, you know, overall so that everyone understands what gratitude is. Well, it's just a bigger word for being grateful. Um, it also looks like receiving some type of positive result from something or someone. And, you know, gratitude is also another word for appreciation if you use it in your vocabulary every day. I've done some research on my own um, just because... You know, it's one thing to be appreciative, to be grateful. You know, your parents teach you what's right from wrong and what you should be grateful for. But sometimes those are kind of the basics and you want to dig deep as to why it's important, how it can benefit you, why you should practice it every day. So doing my research, you know, using PositivePsychology.com, research shows that gratitude is the single most powerful source of inspiration that you can tap into. Can you imagine that? So why not practice gratitude? It is so powerful. PositivePsychology.com has mentioned that over the years, through significant studies, that they've established the fact that practicing gratitude can rewire your brain to deal with present situations with more awareness and a better perspective. So what are the benefits of gratitude, girl? Let me tell you, you're more positive, you feel alive, you sleep better, you get a better immune system, honey, so we're about to fight this coronavirus. It improves your relationships, it shifts your focus, you're more happier, you become more patient, it helps you become more successful. Girl, your skin will be glowing by the end of this list, honey. It improves your mental health. So you're less likely to experience depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. I know it's hard. All these things that you experience don't go away overnight, but over time, if you've already experienced these things and you put that and you practice that into your life, it will slowly alleviate and also go away. And so it's so important that we practice gratitude. So how can you practice gratitude? How can you put it in everyday life? Take some time to notice and reflect. Pay attention to the things that you're grateful for and then make a list. You can do it in the morning just to start off your day in a positive note or you can do it at the end of the day after things have happened and you can use it almost as a lesson because sometimes when you're grateful for certain things that happen, sometimes you could be grateful for something that happened during the day and you want to write it down as if you were writing in a journal, but it'll be for the things that you're grateful for. As you start to write down the list that you're grateful for, make sure that they're basic needs, okay? So let's say you're grateful to live in a place where you are able to have access to water that you have organs that are functioning, that you can breathe, that you are alive, that you are present in this moment, that you are able to write all of this down. All of these things are so important. Why? Because it helps you stay stable in the present moment. You're able to focus on the now, not in the past, not in the future, just the now. And that is so important when you are grateful because we take our own lives for granted. Just being here, just being here, we take it for granted. And once you're able to appreciate your own life, you can appreciate others' lives. And then you can um, cultivate compassion and kindness and you will be able to see things in a new light. Once you start working your way up, you can start writing down that you're grateful for having a job, that you have clothes on your back, that you're able to go to work. Working on yourself is the first part of healing. And that's why you should be grateful for the basic things in your life. First, you. And then, you know, second, you can add the people in your life if you want to add the people in your life. If you don't have any people that are in your lives that you feel grateful for, then it may be the things in your life, the things that you have. Maybe it's your house. Maybe it is your 
job maybe it's your car um but you want to have each one and then a reason why you're grateful for it not just write it down um because with every cause there's an effect and you want to know and realize notice and reflect how those people or things can affect your life uh, from a gratitude standpoint thank you guys so much i know this video was very very short but gratitude is very very simple and if we cultivate that in our lifestyles and make it a lifestyle every single day then we can make it easier for ourselves and everyone around us uh, to have a happier life so i hope that you guys benefit from this video share it with your friends like and subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much enjoy the rest of your day stay safe everyone and i'll see you soon